Hi guys, today we're going to install a fantastic Vic. We've had this in our last camper and it is fantastic. We bought this, it did have a stove top here, but it was generic, so we put in this one. As you can see, there's no way to, to vent anything out of it. This is all you have, and that does not have a fan to suck it out. So we're going to go ahead and show you how we installed one and let me know what you think. All right, like Kim said, let's go up and get this thing changed out. Be if I don't fall off the ladder. I was gonna say, be careful, dear. Hey, Dicky, this one's for you. <laughs> he made it, yay! All right, <clears throat> so the first thing we really need to do is get all this old caulk off of here without damaging the roof. So that's what we're gonna do, and then we'll be right back. Guys, I just wanna point out to you, I wanna show you this, that when, as we're taking this caulk off, it's ripping the roof underneath the caulk. That is raw plywood. The caulk is so, I guess, stiff to this that it's, it's ripping the roof. Or the roof is so thin, I'm gonna go with the roof is so thin, that it's tearing the roof with the caulk. But it's so, fixable. It's definitely fixable. It's fixable. It's just one more hurdle that we have to do. So, anyway. All right, we got the old one off. Lots of glue and garbage all over this, all this stuff. This stuff right here was so tough that as we pulled the old vent out of the hole, it ripped the roof. So what we had to do was cut the roof. I took my razor knife and cut the roof all the way around to be able to get this thing out because what it was doing was taking the roof and peeling it backwards. I didn't want the roof to be peeled back any more than it already was. So that's where we're at. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna clean this area and I'm gonna take this waterproof tape and we're gonna run it down inside of there. And then we're gonna take the vent and put the vent on top of this stuff uh, we're going to take a little bit of this, put it underneath, just like this. It's the gray sealant, just like this. We're going to squirt this on the bottom. That's my neighbor on his motorcycle rolled by. After we squirt the, squirt the gray on the bottom and let it set and seal, screw it down, and then we're going to take the white lap sealant and put it on top of all the screws. We'll do all that, and we'll be right back. That's if it doesn't rain because now they're calling for thunderstorms. Yay. All right, so we are ready to install this vent back in the hole. We have all the weatherproof tape down all the way around. Now we have the this weather adhesive tape here that's going to go from here to there. I do want to point out one thing. Make sure when you install this, you install the hinge side to the front of the RV. Don't put it to the back because it'll open up the wrong way. Not a good thing. So anyway, here's, let's get this thing in the hole.
Okay, it's in the hole. Now we're gonna get these screws, screw it down all the way around and get this thing sealed up before it starts to rain. I just felt a raindrop on my arm. So we're gonna get to that and we'll be right back. One thing you don't wanna do is over tighten those screws and bust that plastic flange. Okay, it is screwed down and it is ready for the final bit of lap sealant. And then we are done up top. As you can see, I went ahead and put the lap sealant on it, the lap sealant white, used the whole tube all the way around. I dotted the screw heads first, then I went around the bottom edge, sealed the edge, and then I drilled, drizzled, I drilled. And then I just put another layer on top and everything seems to be panning out just the way I want it. So that's the finished product on top. Anyway, now I have to go down and we have to run some electrical to this thing because there was no electrical for this fantastic electric vent. Okay, so now that we have finished the outside, now we have to do the inside. And that means that we have to take this wire, this vent, ow. Damn. Something up there sharp got me. Anyway, this vent that was in here before was just a manual crank up. It didn't have any power. So this is the Fantastic, which requires power. And I found some wires right here within that. How lucky that I've got to cut, splice together, and we should be good to go. This finger thing's kind of bothering me. I believe I hit something sharp. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get to that and I'll be right back. Right there. Right there. Oh, I forgot to turn the lights off. Number one, always remember to turn the power off, which I did not do and just clipped the wires while they were hot. Mm -hmm. All right, so there it is. It's all wired together running it's got a thermostat switch there's your speed control one two and three it also has right here one way is a vent out and if you push it the other way it actually draws air in that's pretty cool so there it is we're gonna get this thing put back together we're gonna show you the finished product What do you think? I love it. So that will conclude this week's adventure on putting up an electric fan. And we really needed it. The electric exhaust fan that didn't come with the camper originally. <laughs> um, so how are you supposed to vent out the exhaust from all the smoke from your stove? But anyway, uh, that's going to do it for this one. If you like the video, or if you made it this far, you must like us or you feel obligated. Thanks, Mom. But anyway, <laughs> uh, that's going to do it for this week's video. On behalf of Jovi, Kim, and myself, we will see you on the next one. Bye.